Check out this lesson to learn a great expression when things happen unexpectedly. Hi, I'm Steve, and this is Single Step English. Sometimes things happen to us and we feel embarrassed. The word embarrassed means to feel ashamed or really shy. One sentence example is, I was too embarrassed to ask for help. You should never be too embarrassed to ask for help. In this lesson, I'm going to teach you how native speakers use the word embarrassed. Let me tell you a short story that will demonstrate how to use the expression, I was so embarrassed. One day, I woke up late. Oh no, I thought, today is a trash day. So, I quickly put on my clothes and then I rushed upstairs and I went to the kitchen and I got the trash bag. I carried the trash bag outside and then I put out the trash. Oh, I was so relieved. I made it in time. However, when I was outside, I saw my neighbor. Actually, it was my next door neighbor, the person who lives in the house next to me. And I said, Oh, hello, good morning, and I smiled. And the person also said, good morning. And then they looked at my head. Hmm, I thought, why are they looking at my head? And then I went inside my house. I thought to myself, hmm, I should check the mirror. So I did. I went to the mirror and I noticed that I had bedhead. Yes, bedhead. And this is the word we use to describe when you sleep on your pillow at night and you wake up and the shape of your hair changes from the pillow. It's called bedhead. And you can say, I had bedhead. If it's right now, you can say the present tense, I have bedhead. Anyway, I was so embarrassed. This is a perfect situation when we use the phrase, I was so embarrassed. Or you could say, it was so embarrassing. This is a really useful expression when you are telling a story or when you want to describe or explain what happened. Here is another short story for you. One time, I went to the bathroom, the toilet, and, well, I guess I got a piece of toilet paper stuck on the bottom of my shoe. I went back to my office and I did not notice the piece of toilet paper on my shoe. I went and I taught my classes. And then, later in the day, I went back to my office and I noticed I had a piece of toilet paper on the bottom of my shoe. I was so embarrassed. It was so embarrassing. I hope this has never happened to you. I am sure all of you, my wonderful viewers, must have an embarrassing story, right? Well, to tell that story, you can start off by saying, one time I, and then you tell the story. And when you finish, you can say, oh, I was so embarrassed. Or it was so embarrassing. And that's how we use the expression. Now, if you are listening to someone telling a story about an embarrassing situation, you're listening to the story and you're giving feedback as you're listening. Oh, wow. Okay. Really? And then at the end, you can say, wow, that sounds embarrassing. Or how embarrassing, right? Because you're giving feedback to them about their embarrassing story. Please 
feel free using this expression to sound more natural speaking English. Remember, it's not just you who has embarrassing stories. We all do. Thanks so much for watching and see you next time.